Now I want to start off by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha. Call out Yahawu by Hashem and Rashai. Call out Yahawu by Hashem and Rashai by Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, our great mills, and our two minutes doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. By Shimmer, the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. We know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites to the pedigree of your Father. By Shimmer, in the name of the Rokak Kwadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird. Looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem and Rashai, and could be one of the elect. Shalom. We would discontinue from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law of such commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of these offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through Yahweh Shai, Hamashah being the perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to have the mysteries, the codes, to be able to give to the tabernacle of David, to be able to wake them up before the said destruction. Okay? And with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures, which is the so-called white men of today, that would have the fatness of the earth, would control the monetary system, uh, would have the most fertile lands, and would be able to um, deceive the nations through manipulation, through lies, deception, and also with ruling with the great sword. Okay, that great sword comes from many different teeth. You have their military. You also have their pestilence. You also have where they're able to uh, push forth, you know, fear mongering through the tell eye vision. Okay, which is through their media, which goes back to medium, which goes back to witchcraft and sorcery, where they're able to push forth fear mongering. And they also have where their, um, you know, their modern day uh, taskmasters, their police force and their FBI and their CIA and all these different the alphabet boys are able to um, push forth their agenda. They're able to watch over, um, you know, their um, their goods. Okay. And what are their goods? The people. Okay, because the people are slaves under our under our oppressor, which is Esau Edom, which is the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the ships. Okay, these are the ones that are uh, taking peace from the earth. Um, that red horse that speaks about Revelation six and four, and these are the ones that are weaponizing the food, destroying the water with mercury and fluoride, putting barium aluminum in the air. They're the ones that are pushing out the pestilence on the people. Okay, and the Lord has what raised up the prophets of old to be able to um go out there and prophesy and to be able to preach this word that's hewning them that's hewning our enemy hewning our, our oppressor and making him where he has to resort to you know last minute tasks you know resort to uh desperate measures okay and that's what you're seeing right here is um this article it says former fbi boss admits bureau has been infiltrated by wef goons who want to destroy America, okay? And why would they want to destroy America? Which America means bitter, okay? Um, because they know that it's at his last last wick. When when the Lord, um, you know, sent forth his prophets, that's the sign that there would be, um, you know, there's going to be a judgment coming to this place soon, okay? And the WEF, which is the World Economic Forum, is ran by what Klaus Schwab, Okay, and he said, what, you will own nothing and be happy. They also put out an article, they don't want you to have cars, they want you to eat bugs, and also they put out another article saying that uh, pedophilia can be able to save humanity. So these are the same groups, they meet up, um, you know, in these Davos meetings, these COP27 meetings, these Bilderberg meetings, these, um, you know, uh, UN meetings, United Nations General Assembly meetings, Bohemian Grove meetings, and what do they do? They... Uh, push forth mischief. They meet up so they can be able to what uh, consult against the hidden ones, which the hidden ones are you Hebrew Israelites. Okay. And why do they want to uh, destroy America? It's not that they want to destroy America. They want to uh, implement um, their new world order, the Novus Order Sequorium. And that starts with breaking down 
every legislation that they had, every commandment that they had as far as their constitution, every bill of rights, and bringing in a, a new constitution as far as um, the new world order. That's what the Great Reset is about. That's what Build Back Better is about. Okay, that's what these different, um, you know, that's what climate change is about. Okay, that's what the new carbon footprint is about. All these are about to implement a one world government, a one world military, and a one world religion. And that one world religion is you having that seed to the hip, which is something that's physical, embedded inside of your hand or your forehead, so they can be able to control your buying and selling through a central bank and digital currency, okay, which will be governed by a blockchain, which will be centralized, and these stakeholders will be the ones that um, will control you, merging man with human, transhumanism, and they'll be taking away your VMAT2 and your God gene. But the Lord has reserved, what, 7,000 men, which is a complete number of men and believers that are not going to bow down to the image of Baal, okay, which is the Shaitan B system, okay, that they're pushing, right? And ultimately, they're destroying their own kingdom because what their mouth is, you know, condemning them, is judging them far as their wickedness that they're doing, okay? And that's all through the Lord because Yahweh Shema Shai is the one that's in full control of this whole movie, okay? So let's get into the article. <laughs> And yeah, former FBI. Slocky, bear with me. This is former FBI chief Chris Swacker has admitted that the bureau has been infiltrated by goons working for a World Economic Forum. WF are working to destroy America. So Klaus Schwab has said many a times that he has his hands in the pockets of these uh, governments. Okay, um, Justin Trudeau over there in Canada. You have. Uh, um, you know, Macron over there in France, you have, I believe the guy's name is Morrison over in Australia, uh, New Zealand, you have um, Jacinda Ardern, okay, and they're called what, young global leaders, and they're all pushing forth the same agenda, they might be on different accords as far as who they want to be able to rule, but they're all put, they all want to have that seat to the hip, because they're all heathens, okay, and the heathen knows that the true people are not them, Okay, it's you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, the ones that are on the bottom, the ghettos and the vadios and the reservations, the ones that are actually under the curses. And how was America great? America was great by us being in slavery, us having that physical yoke around our neck, okay, that iron around our neck. And now they, because we weren't able to move, now it's the same thing they want to do again, but they want to embed it in, inside of your skin. Okay, they want to insert it, implant it inside of your skin, right? And then you will be um, part of their system, okay? And they can be able to control uh, what you say, you know, far as through a social credit system. If you say anything against the government, far as you say you like the president, your score, your social credit score goes up, means you can be able to do more things. If you say something against uh, the government, okay, it's going to go lower. And the true men of the Lord should be speaking against this devil, okay? Because everything that he's pushing are is wickedness okay and if you're for the government then you're in the wrong place okay because the government means my control and that's what they want to do they want to control you and every step you do they want to control also your carbon footprint okay your carbon footprint how many times you go to the gym how many times you're with your lady how much you know um you eat <laughs> this devil has a has a <clears throat> slaki has a god complex and he wants to enter inside your temple which your temple um, is your body, okay, and he wants to implement that device to control how you speak, who you're with, where you're going, okay, and this is, this is what's going on, this is the infrastructure, not with, a, not with these camps that are sp speaking about, you know, it's the Mark of Cain and all that, that, that's, that's complete BS, because the infrastructure is set up already, right, far as the, the, the physical part of it, okay, of the seat to the hip, Revelation 13 and 16, it says, creating an independent commission modeled after U.S. Senate's 1970s Church Committee to investigate the WEF, coup d'etat of the FBI, and impose reforms and tarnish law enforcement agency. So, um, we know that the Lord doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. So, when they were implementing, you know, infiltrating these different uh, church communities. Okay, what were they doing? They were they were um, infiltrating their own their own churches to be able to push their own narrative. I just want to look to see what it was actually about. 
It says the church committee was a U.S. Senate select committee in 1975 that investigated abuses by Central Intelligence Agency, National Security Agency, FBI. Yeah, so all these are groups that are set up by the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. Okay, they're, they're basically what they are is modern day taskmasters. Okay, and they set out to do different agendas. And that's why this devil is known as um, he will uh, fund both sides of the war. Okay, he'll act like he's fighting against drugs, but he'll, but he'll be the one that's bringing in the drugs. We saw that with um, with the guy from L.A., uh, the real Rick Ross, where he was working with the CIA or working with the FBI, one of the one of the two. Okay, and they were working to what push forth that agenda as far as selling drugs in the community, putting them in the worst, worst areas and then what locking all the people up uh, for unrighteous decrees. Uh, for, for mass amounts of time. All right, so we're not gonna, I'm not going to get too into it. But again, that was just a, so they can be able to control more of the um, the church committees. Okay. It says, WEF coup, the tact of the FBI and imposed reforms on tarnished law enforcement agency because those different churches have 501c3s. Okay, which you can't be able to speak against the government. Right. Which is the same thing that you have groups out there like IUIC that have a 501 C3. They have a contract with the government where they can't tell you the truth. That's why they don't have the 100 percent truth. OK. It says what I see is basically a wholesale takeover by the Department of Justice, which is filled with political opponents in every top position. And then by extension, right into the administration, Swecker told Justin News in an interview. OK, it says. You see DOJ people and many of top executive positions inside FBI now. You see people that have made a career out of bouncing in and out of silk stocking law firms between the Department of Justice and then these law firms have to say they are incredibly liberal in their politics and that was now sort of taken over FBI and they are inserting the ideology into their high profile investigations. It says, Swecker, a lawyer himself, said one of the many telltale signs is that the FBI has lost its independence, its bureau, its relationship with the big tech firms, as exposed by recent internal file releases, socket file releases by Twitter and a lawsuit filed by attorneys general of Louisiana and Missouri. And this is ultimately going to lead to the famine of the word. OK, because what are they doing? They're, they're hiring. Big tech is hiring these different companies to work with the FBI so where the big tech, whatever the they train the algorithm, that's why you have in some videos you have brothers have transcripts as far as and it sends out an algorithm to the FBI and things like that. And then they cut the video. OK, ultimately putting putting you on a list. You have the, the red list, which are the profits. You have the blue list, which are the followers. And then you have the yellow list, the people that are just going to take the seat to the hip. And then you have the black list is the ones that are coming out with some truth, but they don't have the covering of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, and they have these lists already set up. Okay, they have a thing called data mining where um, all the people, um, you know, that are coming on the videos and things like that, they know exactly who you're talking to and what you're doing. That's what uh, Facebook is. Okay, Facebook is nothing but an FBI uh, or a CIA um, agent to be able to see who you're talking to, right? Says the FBI has it, but also this the Lord has used this word to be able to what push forth, um, uh, you know, push forth this word, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, right? So you know, it shows you the balance of the Lord, right? It says the FBI has an industry outreach program to help exchange information with industry, helping the counterintelligence efforts of the FBI. This has gone well beyond that. He said, this is nothing but domestic spying, and this is nothing but suppression of First Amendment rights and ideas. So again, they're taking away uh, their own you know, constitution, their own amendments, their own Bill of Rights, and what they're coming with draconian measures. Uh, Revelation 13.11 speaks about that. Okay, He said, the Bureau's role in pressing Twitter and other social media and search sites to censor Americans needs to be in first line of inquiry in the news Congress. So let's just get a couple of scriptures and I'll go back to that. Job 15 and 6. Thy own mouth condemneth thee, and not I, yeah, thy own lips testify against thee. So their own lips are what testifying against them. 
Okay, their own agents are coming out as whistleblowers telling them that these people are wicked. Okay, and it's all the way up because the the actual people that truly got their hands in the pockets of all these politicians and these FBI agents, CIA, is the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, okay, which are um, the biblical Edomites, which is the so-called white men of today. Now, uh, they're, they're one of their powers, you know, that the Lord gave them was secrecy, and now they're just being exposed. The man of sin is being made bare through what this word, through the servants, the prophets, <clears throat> that have the mysteries, the mysterion. This is Psalm 64 and 8. It says, let me actually start from, I'm going to skip a little around. This is five. They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares and privately they say, who shall see them? So the FBI is known as being very, um, you know, they won't come in until they bust you, right? Uh, and how I'm trying to say that is they'll wait two, three years. They'll see murderers. They'll see, they'll see drug dealing and they'll wait till they be able to, you know, basically catch the, the biggest guy as far as whatever that they're doing. And then what they'll do is they'll have everyone turn on each other and then they'll use them as FBI agents and on and on. Meanwhile, the person that's always funding the drugs and everything like that, that's funding the FBI is the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, which are the Edomites. Everything goes right back to them because they are the disease of the earth. OK, and we need a physician, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that to what cleanse this earth. Psalm 64 and 6. They search out iniquities, they accomplish the diligent search, both their inward thought of every one of them and their heart is deep. Yeah, they search out iniquities, they search about um, how they can be able to plot and have uh, crimes, okay? They put drugs in the community, they put guns in the community, and then what happens? People go to jail, then what? Their whole They have a court system that's in the Latin where they can be able, they run the courts as far as the lawyers and everything like that, then they can be able to make money off uh, prisons, Okay? And that's a diligent search. That's a perpetual hatred because they they don't do that. They don't go to the suburbs and do it. They go to Jake neighborhoods, okay? The ghettos, varios, and the reservations going into their perpetual hatred, okay? Skipping down Psalm 64 and 8. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So these other heathen nations are starting to flee back away to their own country. You know, you see um, certain... Um, you know, Obadiah 1 and 7, where it speaks about, you know, the nations that were confederate with thee, you know, they, they um you know, they, they act like they're cool with you, but they're not, okay? And that's what you're starting to see, that that um those enchantments on the different nations, now those different nations are starting to say they are strong, okay? This is Jeremiah 33 and 29. Happy, O thou, O Israel, is like unto thee. O people, say by Yahweh, thy shield of thy help, who is thy sword of excellency, and thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. And what's their high places? Their government. Okay, exposing the things that they're doing, you know, in the police force, that a lot of them are pedophilia, that they're into pedophilia. Okay, exposing their, their FBI, their CIA. Okay, even their government officials exposing who they are, which is what the, the son of perdition. They're ran by the son of perdition. They're they're pushing forth the shaitan, um, you know, beast system. Okay. Psalms 58 and 2. I want to read this in LT. It says, No, you plot injustice in your hearts. You spread violence throughout the land. Okay, and they push forth what fear with the FBI. They come in busting down doors and doing sorts of all crazy stuff. Right. Meanwhile, they're the ones that that planted it on people most of the time. Okay, and I'm I'm not saying that Jake is you know they're great or whatever. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is that these devils they they actually do that. Okay, Psalms 58 and three. It says the wicked people are born sinners, even from birth. They have lied and gone their own way, okay, so when they came, when the Lord put them in power, um, you know, in about the mid-1300s, when they came out of the um, Russia, Georgia, Caucasus Mountains, okay, they were eating juniper roots, and they were wearing their underwear till it rotted off, and they were speaking like cavemen to the Lord, what raised up the basis of men to be, you know, as people see the beacon of light, far as, 
Um, whenever they see a white person, they, you know, our, even our people are in Stockholm syndrome. You know, that's a white person. They're good. But the Lord said in Romans 3, there's not one that do it good. Okay. Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. And that's speaking about when they came out of the mid 1300s, starting with, uh, you know, the Renaissance era, which is the rebirth of the Roman Empire, which we're on the second leg of that. And they started by what covering the faces of the judges thereof, a chronoclasm. Okay, covering up the dark images, you know, knocking off the noses and putting forth the Renaissance uh, era art. Far as, you know, uh, Cesar Borgia, um, you know, J uh, JC that you see today. Okay, it says their poison is like poison of a serpent. They are like a deaf adder. They stop without their ear. So again, their mouth, they speak venom. Okay, through their unrighteous decrees, through their draconian measures. And they act like, hey, we're, we're not doing nothing wrong. It says, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. So who's actually, um, you know, the prophets are speaking to what these these serpents, as far as letting them know their, what their judgment, and they don't want to hearken, they don't want to listen. So ultimately, this is what the Lord's going to do. Six, break their teeth, O our power, in their mouth, break out their great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh. Okay, let them melt away as water, which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows. Let them be as cut into pieces as a snail, which melted. Let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Okay, going into what their new world order, because the Lord spoke about in Job 20 and about 22 and the fatness of the fatness of their sufficiency. They shall be what in straits. Okay, and when it's speaking about real quick. Well, the bow to shoot their arrows that goes into what the um, the hypersonic missiles. Okay, the arrows goes into the actual missiles, and the bows goes to what into the silos. Okay, melt as waters going into what that great that fervent heat, because waters is also what a cleansing agent, and fire is a cleansing agent, and that's what we need. And the Lord's gonna what break their teeth, um, far as their military force, and they're also known as what the young lions. Okay, just to break that down. <clears throat> it says, um, let me read this again, eight, as a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun, okay, so again, going into their new world order, okay, they're not going to be able to accomplish it, they'll be able to get a couple people with the sea here, but they're not going to get the people that they want, which is the true prophets, nine, before, you, it says, before your pots can feel the thorns, he, he, sh he shall take them away as with the whirlwind, both living in his wrath. So again, going into, um, it does it, uh, it speaks about that in Job, Job 18, where it speaks about, um, they shall have no son nor nephew. Okay. They shall, what well, they're going to get caught up in that fervent heat, which is those missiles. 10, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Okay. Going into, um, Isaiah 63. Um, you know, speaking about our Lord Yahweh coming back, he'll be bathed in blood. Okay. And what the, for the blood of the saints, the Lord is going to what, uh, um, you know, all the things that we had to go through, the Lord is going to what seek vengeance on our enemies. Okay. So let's go back to the article. It says, he said in the bureau's role in pressing Twitter. Oh yeah. So let me get a scripture about that. Because <clears throat> there is going to be a famine of the word. There's going to be a physical famine far as with the food supply, but also a famine of this word. And I'll just read the scripture. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said Yehovah Shemarashai, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing the words of Yahweh. So again, you know, now the Lord has his hands out, which are the prophets, to be able to what? Give you the warning. Okay, but you have to what? Um you know, uh, repent now and be ye converted. Seek the Lord while he may be found and he will be able to what part in your sins. Okay, because it's, they're going to take the word off the internet. As far as, and ultimately it's the Lord, you know, Yahab Hashem Rashai, because he's in control of the whole movie. Isaiah 45 and 7, you know, um, Amos 3 and three and 6, you know, shall, shall Trump be built in the city and the people not be afraid. The Lord is the one that orchestrates the whole movie. Let, let me just get a scripture real quick. You know, because sometimes we get, you know, Esau's doing this, but I have to speak about what he's actually doing. But the Lord is the one that rules, okay, because the Lord controls good and evil, and they're both obedient to what bring forth prophecy. Daniel 4 and 17, this matter is by decree, 
Okay, the decree is a law of the watchers, okay, and to the man by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruled in the kingdom of men, and give it to whomever he will, and set up over the basis of men. And the basis of men is in rulership. Okay, and the Lord did that to be able to show his power when he's gonna take this place down. And I read about that in Psalms 58, far as um, you know, the missiles falling upon their own head, their own Plots are going to fall upon their own, um, their own pate, you know, their own head. So I just want to get that real quick. It says, Amos 8 and 12, it says, They shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and they shall not find it. Yeah, so they're not going to be able to find this word, because the Lord has what closed the doors of mercy, okay? Because his word is around the four corners of the earth already. Once the once the um the elect, we're praying that we're of the hopeful elect is sealed, that's when the north, south, east, west angels are gonna let forth that great destruction. Okay? And we're right on the uh the doorsteps of that, according to the scriptures. All right, so let's go back. It says a growing number of prominent figures, including House Republican leader Kevin Kevin McCarthy. Incoming House Judicial Community Chairman Jim Jordan, retired FBI Intelligence Chief Kevin Brock, have embraced the idea that Congress should create a blue ribbon panel modeled after 1970s Church Committee to probe where the FBI has gone astray to craft meaningful reforms. Yeah, so th they're the problem, okay? They're the disease. They're the ones that are creating the mischief, okay? They're the ones that are framing mischief by law, right? Swecker said in beliefs that his good approach, nothing that will, while he remains friends with Christopher Ray, the current FBI director, has allowed his agency to lose to lose significant public trust. The church committee was full inquiry into they were perceived to be some very serious abuses by the FBI in domestic surveillance area in the terms of watching U.S. citizens doing this doing these things involving U.S. citizens that were considered to be abuses of their power. He said, and I think they're they've come full circle here. The FBI's involvement labeling school parents domestic terrorists and it's bare knuckles because if you're not part of the system, okay, then you're then you are against the system. Okay. So if your your parents didn't want you to uh, go to school because school, uh, what do they teach you? They teach you that Christopher Columbus is a good guy. They teach you how to be um, you know, uh, uh, be a slave. They don't teach you about the law of such commandments because that's true wisdom. Okay, they don't teach you about that. They'll they'll put the, that's why they took out the church, you know, as far as in the schools. Okay, because they used to have it, and they took the church out of the schools. And what do they start implementing the other stuff? But then they'll t they'll tell you to hold your hand, you know, against your heart or whatever, and sing the pledges of allegiance, right? Which is nothing but wickedness. Okay, and this is all about control, right? If you're not doing what they like, then they'll cut you off. And now they're starting to implement it, as far as. Uh, Esau, Edom coming in like a flood. Okay. <clears throat> it's his pursuit of double Trump contrasted with kid gloves against, against Hillary Clinton. Yeah. So a lot of these people like Hillary Clinton, they're straight up, straight up, you know, uh, murking people out that say anything about them. Donald Trump, that was all set up that if you speak against the, uh, you know, you speak different than what they're saying, we'll come to your house, but he's all part of it too. They're all part of the, the, um, you know, that veil. But that veil is being lifted up. They're all part of that, you know, um, their ultimate plan, which is the New World Order. Okay. Andrew McBabe and Hunter Biden have not only shaken public trust, but also internal confidence of FBI. So Hunter Biden, we know is a crackhead, right? Um, I'm telling, and he also does background deals with Ukraine and China and all these different things uh, to be able to bring forth we uh, weaponry. It says, I'm telling you, you retired agent community. Many agents inside the FBI on active duty are saying they needs to be looked at. He said, I'm not a big fan of congressional inquirers, but they need to shine some light on this. And the ones that are going to shine the true light is Yahabashim Shai. This is Luke 8 and 17. It says, Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Manifest means to be clear, to brought out in the open. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So everybody's seeing that these are the wicked people, okay? All the way down to the police force, their FBI, their CIA, John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation, Slakia. 
And this is the condemnation, which condemnation goes into judgment, that light, which is the truth, is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Yeah, people like and being engaged in man on man, woman on woman, transformers, uh engage with you know children. They like this, they like this type of thing. Okay, even our own people engage in it for what the lust of the belly, the lust of this world. Okay, and the Lord is what uh, anybody that's proud is gonna be destroyed. John 3 and 20, for everyone that doeth evil hate the light, neither come into the light, lest their deeds should be reproved. And that's what's happening. Um, Esau, Edom's uh, wickedness is being exposed. Okay, it's being brought to the forefront and they are trying to combat it with these um, these information warriors, these different agencies, but they can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Let me get another scripture, actually. This is uh, Psalm 73. <clears throat> and I'm going to go, I'm going to start from the top. This is Psalm 73 and 1. It says, it says, truly our power is good to Israel. Okay, who is Israel? You, you are so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, but particularly the elect, because the elect are the only ones that are going to be able to get the understanding of the truth. Even, even two such as are of a clean heart, Okay, but as for me, my feet are almost gone. My steps had well now slipped, for I was envious at the foolish, which I saw prosperity of the wicked. And that's what our people do. They'll have a certain talent and they'll get to a certain point and they realize they, they only can go so far unless they sell their soul. And they have what and what, what happens is they end up getting their constellation here and they will be destroyed because they, they sold out to what the shaitan. Okay. And that's what Asaph was saying right here because they're they're never pun they're not in trouble like others. Okay, as far as Esau eating the white men of today, they're always able to get away. They're always able to prosper, have the best houses. You know, have both both uh, parents. Okay, because they're, they're not under the curses. Okay, but by the time the Lord hits them, it's going to be fetters, irons, and chains, hardcore slave for a thousand years, and then it will be Obadiah one eighteen. The Lord's not going to need them no more. Their light, their candle, will be put out. Okay, Psalm seventy three and four. This is the point where I want to get this is for the there. It says for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. And what's their strength being firm? Their Roman Catholicism. OK, their Christianity, their police force, their FBI, their CIA, their ATF agents. OK, they are firm. They can they can make up they can make up something. They can frame mischief by law. They can change laws. They can pay off the um, the government. OK, but our power is in Yahweh Shem Shai. Those that trust in him, okay, those that trust in you, how about Shema Shai are going to be able to have that true strength. That's what makes us whole. That's what makes us sound, okay? It says, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Yes, yeah, they get away with anything because, again, they have infiltrated all these different alphabet uh, of people, okay? But this time, they're going to get, they're going to get, they're beginning exposed because, again, one of their powers was secrecy. Now, they're being made bare. Jeremiah 49, 10. Esau, Edom is being made bare. Okay. He, he can't hide behind his money. He can't be hide behind his bald face. He can't hide behind his suits no more. Okay. Because the word is, is, is cutting him. It's hewning him. It's, it's cutting him asunder. It's breaking him down. It's exposing him, starting with his economy, his, his, his task force. Okay. And he's being, he's being made bare. The son of perdition is being revealed. Psalm 73 and 6. Therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain of violence, cover them as a garment. Yeah, they're not afraid to go in your house and kill you, shoot you, and cover it up, okay? Because they're these police forces and these FBI, CIA, they're low-level uh, luminaries, okay? They have to, they, they um, um, when they come in, they, ha they have to swear by a code that they have to follow, okay? And they're not afraid to killing somebody and setting people up because they're bound by a code. They're bound by what... What Esau Edom tells them, the so-called white man. And I'm talking about the elites. Okay? And they push forth that energy all the way down, going into what the Freemasonry. This is Psalm 73 and 7. This is NLT. It says, These fat cats have everything their hearts could ever wish for. Okay, they have everything. But what do they want to do? They want to enter inside your temple. Okay, with that seat to the hip. Hey, they scoff and speak only evil in their pride, they seek to crush others. Yeah, they speak very uh, proudly about their wickedness and the things that they want to do to the people. You will own nothing and be happy. You will eat bugs. We don't, you can't have no cars, you know, and ultimately it's going to be, you can't have uh, the Bible. Okay. It says nine, they boast against, 
uh, the very heavens and the words that strut throughout the earth. Yeah, they believe that they can be able to, um, you know, um, be able to have immortality. Okay, when immortality is only given to you Israelites. Okay, these devils are not going to have immortality, but they believe it because the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Okay, they don't believe in a savior because the Lord, going back to Cain, going back to the beginning, has um, turned his, you know, Yahweh Bashem Rashai has turned his face away from uh, the wicked, meaning that they would never get it, which is Esau, Edom today. Right, so I'll read a little bit more of this. It says, I think there's a culture shift that stated that late in Miller's term, and when we got into a sort of full stride in Kami's term, is now being sort of perpetuated under Chris Way's term. And this is the DOJ has basically taken over the FBI, the yeah, Department of um, of Justice, right? He said they were supposed to have some independence despite being bureau under the Department of Justice. And they don't because they're on one accord to what? Do evil, to do bad things. Okay, just like we're on one accord to do righteous things. Lord willing, we endure to the end. So I'm going to end it in this. This is Psalms 94. And I start from one. I'm going to skip around. <clears throat> Psalms 94 and one. O Yahweh, thy power to whom vengeance belongeth, or our power to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. And the Lord is what showing himself by giving us the understanding of the scriptures. Because again, this book was sealed. And Yaharashai was able to open the seal. And then Yaharashai sent forth what prophets, pastors of his own heart. Jeremiah, um, was that 3 and 15? Two, lift up thyself, thy judge of thy earth. Render a reward to the proud. And what's the, the reward for the proud? Intercontinental bliss and missiles. Okay, destruction, dung and worms. Okay. Three, Yahweh, how long and who, who is the proud? Malachi 1 and 4, the borderline of wickedness. Okay. Psalms 94 and 3. Yahweh, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Okay. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break into pieces the people, Yahweh inflict thy heritage. Okay, they slay the widow and the stranger and the murder and the followers and the fatherless. Sakim. Okay, going into um the widow is is us. Okay, we are what we are without our husband. The Harashai is our husband, but he has um given us the seed of um beautiful. Yeah, he's given us the seed of what truth. Okay, as far as this understanding. So if you have the truth, he's what showing you mercy and truth. Psalms eighty five and ten. Okay, and what truth is springing up out of the earth. And that's why Esau Edom is, is, is uh, hurt because the, that dreadful sound in his ear. Skipping down, this is Psalms 94 and 13. Thou, it says that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Okay, for the Lord Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Okay, and the Lord has not dealt with any other nation. Psalms 147 and 19 and 20. And he will not give to another. Psalms 94 and 15, but judgment shall return unto righteousness and all the upright in heart shall follow it. In your heart, you go into the word, it goes into the Hebrew word lahab, which means your mind. Okay. The virtuous hearts are going to follow what um, Harashai. Okay. Because he is uh, John 14 and 6. He's the way, the truth, the light. Way, the truth, the life. Okay. That's the only way you can be able to truly live in peace is with Harashai. Okay. With righteousness. That's why the Lord is also known as the physician. Okay, and he's coming to what take away that long disease, which is Esau Edom. 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doors? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay, and those are going to be the servants, the prophets. Okay, the gates of Zion. The prophets that have the, the, the mysterion, the secrets. Okay, they're going to stand up against what wickedness. Okay, be that sacrifice, that, that righteous sacrifice, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai was. Psalms 94 and 17. Unless Yahweh had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Okay, yeah, settled in this the uh, um you know modern day hell. Okay, which is a condition played out on earth. Okay, when where there's no you know before the Lord opened our eyes, there's no hope. There's no hope here. Okay, because there's nothing but traps and snares. Okay, eighteen. When I said my foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Yahweh, held me up. So mercy is what the truth, the understanding of the scriptures, it's able to what make you stand. 19, and the multitude of thy thoughts within my comforts delight my soul. Yeah, so the comfort of, um, of these words. Let's get the scripture real quick. This is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 18. <clears throat> 1 
First Thessalonians 4 and 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words. And that's what we should be doing. That's why it's very important to keep uh, pushing the issue far as um, these epistles going out, because these are actually tears that are crying out to the Lord to what um, to destroy our, our oppressor. It says, Psalms 94 and 20, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? So who's, what is iniquity? Sin upon sin. Fellowship with thee, which frame it mischief by law. And aren't they framing mischief by law? By calling us extremists, extremists, radicalists, anybody that's against their, their government um, is called extremists and radicalists. But they said you could have free speech. Now they're taking it away. Revelation 13, 11. They're coming with draconian. Psalms 94 and 21. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, condemn the innocent blood. Yeah, so they judge with the innocent blood. They judge us for what's standing up for Yahweh Shimon Shai. Okay, but the Lord is going to intervene for his elect. Psalms 94 and 22, but the Lord Yahweh is my defense. My power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, the Lord Yahweh Shemashah shall cut them off. Yeah, the Lord's going to cut them off from anything they ever known of. Okay, any of their inheritance. This is Job 18. Job 18 and 5. I'm going to skip around a little bit. Job 18 and 5. Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of the fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark and the tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. The steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down. And that's what you're seeing right there. An FBI agent is casting down his own people. Okay. And it says, again, going into the, uh, for he is cast, it's like him, for he is cast into a net by his own feet and walk upon a snare. Yeah. By his own feet, by the, by the things that he has done. Um, you know, Galatians six and seven speaks about you reap what you sow. Okay. It says the gin shall take him by a heel and the robber shall prevail against him. Okay. The snare is laid for him in the ground and the trap for him in the way. So the Lord has already set him up for it to what fall. It says Job 18 and 16, his roots shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off going into his rulership. Okay, he's not going to have no more rulership. That light is going to be turned out far as um, that wisdom, far as, you know, in this world to be able to be in, you know, his portion is over with. And I'm speaking about the so-called white men of today, Job 18 and 17 his remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. No name in the street. He's not going to have no monuments, no, uh, you know, um, what is that over there in North Dakota, where they have the, um, you know, the four presidents or whatever like that. Um, they're not going to have that anymore. Okay, they're not going to have their, what, their statues, right? They're going to have no name in the street, okay? Job 8, they're going to, Obadiah 1 and 18. Job 18 and 18, he shall be driven from the light into the darkness and chased out of the world. Yep, he's going to be chased out of the world by the people that he was once confederate with um, and also by the Lord. You know, ultimately those chariots of fire. Okay, Job 18 and 19, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people nor any remaining in his dwellings. So he'll never be back in existence after he's a thousand years of hardcore slavery. He'll be Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay, because of that shameful spewing against thy brother, right? Roughly paraphrasing that. Job 18 and 20. They that come after him shall be astonished at the day as that went before were frightened. Surely such as the dwellings of the wicked in this place, him that knoweth not Yahweh by Shema Hashai. So he rejected Yahweh by Shema Hashai, so the Lord's going to show him who's in power. So with that, call Allah Yahweh by Shema Hashai, by Shema Kakwadash. Shalom to Alek, Kwam Yashalom.